Seldom has the unveiling of a gray box the size of a parking space been surrounded by such hype. It's my baby, isn't she beautiful? But its inventor says well, what's inside the box can supply the world with clean, cheap energy. The core of our technology simply is sand. The sand is the raw material used to make these wafers that can make electricity. What I want to introduce to you, the Bloom Energy Fuel Cell. Bloom's fuel cell works like this. Oxygen is pumped in on one side, natural gas on the other. The two combine inside the cell to create a chemical reaction that produces electricity. No burning, no combustion, no power lines from outside. Bloom's founder has persuaded some big names that by using sand, he can make fuel cells that are efficient and inexpensive. Well, will it work for 10 or 20 years without something going wrong? We'll find out. Bloom Energy says the best proof that its fuel cells work is in the ones already working, like these at eBay's headquarters. But Bloom is not the only company pursuing this kind of technology. Among Bloom's many competitors, UTC Power has built fuel cells for some businesses. Now the race is on to see who can make them affordable. A half dozen big companies have already bought Bloom boxes at a cost of seven to eight hundred thousand dollars. There's always the hope that the price will come all the way down, like it did with computers. Bloom's goal is a $3,000 box that anybody can use to power their home. Think of this. Don't start signing up for orders yet. This is a product of the future. A future that's at least a decade away. John Blackstone, CBS News, San Jose, California.